Welcome to RCR Wireless here at Mobile World Congress. I'm Lamore Schaffin and with me is Mike Triano from AT&T Advanced Mobility Solutions. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. So Advanced Mobility Solutions deals with such things as M2M as one category. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing in that area. That's right. It's actually been a long journey. We've been in the machine machine space for well over 10 years. So a lot of companies are talking about it right now, the industrial internet, the internet of things, but it's been a long journey. It started for many customers, quite frankly, as a replacement to wireline connectivity. We're seeing more and more manufacturers that are taking wireless technology, they're building that into their cars, their tractors, whatever their medical devices, whatever that might be. And they're saying, how do I take 3G, 4G technology, and in some cases supplement ethernet, wireline, satellite connectivity, Wi-Fi, to make their machines work globally. Um, our biggest um, experience right now truly is on the global stage. How do we work with companies to put that global SIM into that device? And whether that machine operates in South Dakota or South America, South Africa, how do I start to take, for example, diagnostics off those engines so I can bring that back to the manufacturers so they can, in essence, build better machines? A lot, a lot of uh, data analytics that are going on right now. And again, it's really beyond just tinkering in the United States in certain regions. How do I start to look and play on the global stage? So actually you're looking at global solutions. Are most companies, then the company wants who, who should be optimized to come to you, the perfect company for you is what kind of company? Actually, I'm going to answer that very vaguely because it's companies of all sizes. We literally have companies that are just getting into the space and they're coming to us with their with developer tools in, in mind, right? So how do I just start to tinker with very basic kits? Um, then we're working with big multinationals, right, that are saying, listen, this could transform my industry if we play our cards right. Um, there are two basic use case studies for us from a business modeling perspective that we see on the global stage. Many companies are using wireless technology from process improvement perspective to drive cost uh, you know, out of their, their business or imp improve productivity. Other customers are actually looking at this as a revenue generating mechanism. And so we spend a lot of time with corporations, put technology aside for a minute. How do we actually consult with them on the business models before they go down the path of actually trying to implement something? So can you share with us a little bit about what those business models actually look like? Some samples. Well, it depends on the enterprise, right? So these are very proprietary to, to many of the customers. Um, in some cases, they, from a revenue perspective, they're actually building models where they believe they can save X percent of, of productivity from a company, and they're building that into the solution set. Um, for other companies, it's really, you know, from an hours in, in, in uh, operational perspective, how do I start to drive that process improvement? We're actually launching uh, later this year, we've made this public, uh, a high value air cargo tracking solution, okay? And, and the use case study here is, if you're a pharmaceutical company and you're shipping drugs, right, from point A to point B, and those drugs get out of temperature control, right? So think about drugs, right? They have to be in a certain temperature range. You could lose your shipment, right? And so from a, from a business modeling perspective, how do I start to look at machine technology so I can get that data and take action on it very quickly? Which, fantastic and a very important use case. So now, very briefly, five years out, what do you think is going to be happening at M2M and what is AT&T's role going to be in it? Our role is ever expanding, right? So it's very much beyond transport. You know, that gets you into the conversation. What customers want from us right now are discussions around platforms, applications. In some cases, we're delivering the applications in what I'll call a, a prepackaged form to the enterprise. In other cases, enterprise customers are saying, there's nothing that exists off the shelf. Help build us a custom application, put it on your platform, host it for us, look at the business analytics, the data, right? and make sense of it. So I look at more of that. I also look at more end-to-end uh, -end application and solutioning that we'll do, not only in the U.S., but Europe and Asia are two big, big target markets for us. Wonderful. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. Thank you. And you've heard the vision of AT&T and M2M and going forward. Thank you so much for joining us, and stay tuned for more from the show floor.